City of Canterville would like to thank Senator Andy Menard for his generous support and assistance in the cleanup effort of the 2018 tornado. Your service to this community has truly helped make Canterville a great place to live. Congratulations. and individuals and people from all over the place, um, the state government has a role in that, and that was the nature of, of this, Mayor, and I appreciate your communication to me and your advocacy on behalf of the city, um, and I'm pleased that we were able to get this done in the state budget this year. And I will tell, tell you this publicly, what I told you privately, Mayor, that this isn't the last of it. Um, we're gonna talk about how we can bring some infrastructure dollars to the city for street repairs, um, you know, for those sidewalks that have to get replaced, for those culverts that were collapsed, um, all of those things I, I value and um, as a former mayor, which was, believe it or not, about 20 years ago at this point in time <laughs> in my life, um, I know how tough it is. So um, I'm here to help and um, I appreciate what the city has done also in response. So thank you for this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. 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 Yes.
Motion carries six to zero. Minutes of the regular meeting held July 1st, 2019. Minutes of the Emergency Services Committee meeting held July 3rd, 2019. Minutes of the Lake and Airport Committee meeting held July 11th, 2019. Minutes of the Water and Environmental Committee meeting held July 11th, 2019. So moved. Motion for Alderman Dorsonette. Second. Second for Alderman Bertle. Roll call. Sean Bertle. Yes. Ernie yes. Dorsonette. Kathy Driscoll. Yes. Lee Lanzotti. Yes. Chris Coltetti. Yes. Larry Bud. Yes. Motion carries six to zero. Ordinance. We need a motion to approve the appropriation for the fiscal year commencing May 1st, 2019 through April 30th, 2020. Mm -hmm. Motion for Alderman Bud. Second. With the, with the uh, corrections. I was going to suggest this out of the public hearing that we kind of, for the public hearing, we announce what those corrections will be. We're going to increase the line item to the Table Park Protection District from 40000 to 49600 Under that, which will increase the overall appropriations amount, which will now total $38,257,225. Under, in addition, under the line item for Table Fire Protection District, you'll have specific expenditures uh, listed pursuant to a contract that the city and the Table Fire Protection District entered into last October 2018. And it'll be as follows Fire gear and equipment, 10000 Preventive met maintenance on fire vehicles, 2700 uh, Bumper to bumper fire vehicle maintenance, 8000 Training tuition only for uh, Terrible Fire Department requirement, $5,600. SCBA air tank cylinders, $18,300. And painting Terrible Fire Department and Terrible Fire Protection District Administration offices, $5,000. As we discussed in public hearing, those total $49,600. That the expectations that if a grant is awarded that the uh, fire department has applied for, uh, that would pay for those air tanks air tag cylinders leaving 31,300 appropriated, which should cover the 30,000 you would expect the table of fire protection as you pay the city. Is there any questions? That would be the suggestion made that the appropriation That's it. And that was made by Alderman Mudd and seconded by Alderman Skultetti. Roll call. Ernie Dorsen. Yes. Kathy Driscoll. Yes. Lee Lanzotti. Yes. Jim Ollins. I mean, sorry. Chris Coltetti? Yes. Very good. Yes. John Bernal? Yes. Mayor Barry votes yes. Mayor Barry votes yes. Motion carries seven to zero. Motion to approve payment of the materials only for the sidewalks and curbs for the first National Bank parking lot project along West Main Cross, Webster, and Market Streets. The first National Bank paying all labor costs, discontinuing upon contractor providing requisite certificate of insurance and paying prevailing wage for all work completed on the city sidewalks and curbs. Oh. And, and obtaining the requisite city permit, which should be permit. Right. Most of all, in Bertle. Second. Second, all of them, Driscoll. Roll call. Kathy Driscoll? Yes. Lee Lanzotti? Yes. Chris Coltetti? Yes. Larry Bud? Yes. Sean Bertle? Yes. Ernie Dorsey? Yes. yes. Motion carries six to zero. Motion to authorize and direct the mayor to sign vendor invoice number 204345 for airport project TAS 4342 in the amount of $1,324.38 for professional services rendered from CMT and forward a request to IDOT for disbursement and approved payment of same pending receipt of disbursement. Motion of Alderman Dortzenez. Second, Alderman Skoltetti. Questions or comments? Roll call. Lee Lanzotti? Yes. Chris Coltetti? Yes. Larry Bud? Yes. John Bertle? Yes. Ernie Dorsey? Yes. Kathy Driscoll? Yes. Motion carries six to zero. Motion, motion to authorize and direct the mayor to sign loan, prank, loan repayment amendment for drinking water project L174597 to include a total repayment amount of 20 million $370,585.22, which includes the $750,000 in principal forgiveness. Motion of Alderman Bertel. Second. Second for Alderman Dorchinez. Questions? Roll call. Chris Coltetti? Yes. Mary Bud? Yes. Sean Bertel? Yes. Mary Dorchinez? Yes. Kathy Driscoll? Yes. Lee Lanzotti? Yes. 
Motion carries six to zero. Motion to approve the agreement with the Taylor Community Unit School District 3 to provide reimbursement for the school resource officer in the amount of $48,746.88. So Motion by Alderman Budd. Second by Alderman Bergel. Question to comment. Comment on this. This is $12,000 more than what we received last year. So it's a 33% increase over. And I might add that the uh, superintendent and I negotiated this and she's very good to work with. And what this amount, what it came from would be if we included our lowest paid officer, this will include his salary plus benefits for the days that he works. And the officer that we have chosen to be the school resource officer makes a little bit more money than that. So, but that's the figure we came up with. That's how we came up with this figure. Roll call. Larry Budd? Yes. John Burnham? Yes. Ernie Dorsonet? Yes. Kathy Driscoll? Yes. Leland Buddy? Yes. Crystal Teddy? Yes. Motion carries six to zero. Most of utilize funds from the total police vehicles to make a final payment on the loan for the 2018 Ford Police Interceptor in the amount of $20,956.29, plus $1.35 interest per day, and make an additional payment on the loan for the 2018 unmarked police interceptors, two of them, with the remaining balance in the total of $29,502. Motion by Alderman Budd. Second, Second by Alderman Driscoll. Questions or comments? Roll call. Sean Bertel? Yes. Ernie Dorchinelli? Yes. Kathy Driscoll? Yes. Leland Buddy? Yes. Driscoll Teddy? Yes. Larry Budd? Yes. Motion carries six to zero. Motion to issue a special events permit for the American Legion Peacekeeper Club <coughs> on July 21st, 2019. Motion by Alderman Bertel. Second. Second ball in the skull ten. Questions or comments? This is a run that is uh, sponsored by Myles Copeland of the <coughs> Green Hyundai and they expect over 500 motorcycles at the American Legion. They're the third stop on this motorcycle run, so I would encourage anyone to try to attend that. We'll block off the street between, uh, we'll block off Franklin Street between Webster and Maine and also we'll block off Washington Street between Market and Franklin. That will be blocked off from like 11 to 2 or something like that. So, roll call. Ernie Dorchner? Yes. Kathy Crystal? Yes. Leland Buddy? Yes. Crystal Teddy? Yes. Larry Buddy? Yes. John Bertle? Yes. Motion carries 6 to 0. City Attorney update. Uh, first item is the Blue Stem Energy Solutions Agreement. You should have received email communications between myself and Jamie Goldenberg, which indicated they are in agreement with the revised language that I put in the Blue Stem Agreement. Uh, you have already approved by resolution the original one, but that resolution allowed for revision <coughs> subject to approval there. So unless you, any of you have any problems with that, I would suggest the mayor go ahead and sign that revised agreement, get that moving forward. We'll insert that email address that we just, the last communication that I got. <coughs> any questions about that document? Okay. The next is on, we had a meeting, the mayor and I and, and, uh, and Alderman Budd with the uh, Avazar contract. We uh, had a uh, conference call with Tom Pagan and the two lawyers that they represent them. I think we made some progress. I think they were receptive to our concerns and our language. We are waiting for a revised agreement for us to relook at and hopefully submit it to you folks for consideration and approval. Uh, the next item is that the uh, the fire engine bids and equipment bids uh, were opened in June at the Terrible Fire Protection District this Wednesday. Anyone's invited to attend. Uh, there, uh, the bids have been reviewed and there will probably be an award being made at that meeting. So that is moving forward with of a new fire engine and, and the equipment. So we'll report back to that. Uh, on, the pro on the issue that we have pending with your late lift station area mm -hmm. property dispute, we've recently, I think the mayor and I got a, um, the title work performed on that. I'll share that with all of you by an email, but it looks like unless the mayor is able to negotiate a resolution financially, proposed for your consideration. We may have to take uh, le uh, legal matters such as adverse possession 
to um, clarify that the city gets to keep the list station where it's at. So we'll keep you on top of this. <coughs> a number of us met recently with the mayor and others on the state passage program. And as we uh, went through a number of different uh, alternatives and suggestions and dot the I's and cross the T's to make this work, I think that we'll be left it. The mayor may have some more information about that. The police chief is going to reach out to some uh, church organizations and see if they can sponsor it. We'll just essentially lease an office to the coordinator to make this program work. So uh, I have heard back from the police chief on that. So that's moving forward. The other thing we have, uh, and I, I probably will ask that we go back to committee on this Leo Pardo. I've got a memorandum here that uh, we're going to finish up. We've, we've gone through these documents. I want to make sure you clearly understand what you, you would get yourself into if you do this, because they we've asked that what they what we didn't have, we've asked and now we have a letter of intent, the actual contract that they're going to ask you to sign if get those successful bidders. So uh, I want you folks to truly understand if you want to move forward that it, it's not going to be a free ride necessarily. So uh, I'll we'll spell it out to you and we right you guys decide what you want to do. Um, with that, is there any questions about what I've talked about thus far? If not, that'll conclude my report. Thank you very much. The mayor or the, I would like to thank the DFW riders for putting on an excellent parade and also the Optimus Club for the fireworks display on July 4th. Last week, the Business Development District Committee met and approved one application. This application will be discussed at this week's Finance Committee. And remember, the council will have a chance to approve this at the August 5th City Council meeting. This past weekend, the Tango VFW hosted the PTSD fundraiser with over 200 motorcycles and well over 400 people again. Thank you again, Tango VFW Riders. This Sunday, the American Lady Legion will host up to 500 motorcyclists on Sunday, July 21st. I welcome everyone to come down and visit. Tonight, we honor Senator Andy Minogue. I want to thank him personally for all he has done and continues to do for our community. Also earlier tonight, we approved the reimbursement from the Tannerville Community Unit School District Number 3 for the school resource officer. Thank you to Superintendent Doherty and President Steve Turner. Tomorrow night is Taylorville night at the Springfield Sliders game. All city officials and residents are invited to get free admission. Uh, the mayor will throw out the first pitch, so they must be up. The Christian County Fair starts next Tuesday the 23rd and runs through Saturday the 28th. Let's all support another event in our community. And finally, on July 30th, Chief Wheeler and myself will be hosting a town hall meeting at the high school cafeteria from 5.30 to 7. I encourage everyone, all the aldermen, to attend that meeting and also tell your constituents we'll discuss anything that the public would like to discuss. That's all I have tonight. Any questions or comments? We will work on the lift station. Uh, we have a figure right now, it's $25,000 that we can buy the land. Uh, we're talking with different attorneys who might have to spend that money for the adverse possession. So that might be the route we need to take, but we'll discuss it in full with another community. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I think you, you were just talking about the, the town hall meeting on July 30th. Yeah. Yeah, it just, just a reminder that if, that if the aldermen are going to attend, just to avoid uh, violations of the Meetings Act. We we'll, we'll need to have the agenda like we normally do when we invite the, the council to go somewhere. Do you Chief, can I handle that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Committee reports. Discussions and or motions to approve, adopt, and or deny, and or table, and or amend, and or refer to an appropriate committee and hold in part the matters regarding the following subject matters discussed at the committee level. Emergency services. Um, motion to recommend to the City Council to direct the Mayor to prepare a letter to send to the Police and Fire Commission to begin the hiring process to fill the vacancy in the Fire Department due to the resignation of Firefighter Kyle Redfro. Motion by Alderman Driscoll. Second. Second. 
to all of them in Zadi. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. <coughs> Lake and Airport. <coughs> Thank all you, Your Honor. The first motion to come out of the committee meeting was to recommend the City Council to approve the request and issue a special events permit for Mid America Sport Parachute Club Old Miners Booty to be held on August the 16th, 17th, and 18th, 2019 on airport property. I'd like to make that a motion. Motion by Alderman Dorchinez, second by Alderman Scaltetti. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. <clears throat> the next motion was to recommend to the City Council to approve the request from Gary Merker to build a bike trail shelter on the lot located at 206 South Pawpaw Street at no cost to the city. I'll make that in the form of motion and a comment. Motion by Alderman Dorchinez, second by Alderman Scaltetti. Comment, Alderman Dorchinez. <clears throat> One of the things that we have to do is to make sure that, uh, that the, the uh, shelter is not uh, going to be put over a 30 inch sewer that's there. And uh, so uh, the uh, street superintendent, Mr. Wiseman, has to go down there and with Gary Merker and he's gonna show them exactly where not to put it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. The next motion was to recommend to the City Council to approve the request to allow Ricky Peters to install a new top on the existing boathouse dock located at Lake Clock 339. I'd like to make that a form of motion. Next of all, in Dorchin S, second of all, in Virgil. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. The next motion was to recommend to the City Council to forward the suggested ideas for generating revenues to fund the dredging of Lake Taylorville to the Finance Committee for their recommendation. I'd like to make that in the form of a motion. Motion by Alderman George Nez. Second. Second. By Alderman Skull Teddy. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. <clears throat> the next motion was to recommend to the City Council allow Farrell's Ag Management LLC to spray the required areas for vegetation and brush control at a cost not to exceed $5,640 and allow the department to cut down trees on the banks and remove the accumulated debris. I'd like to make that a form of motion. Subject to Farrell's signing the city's form contract. Can I make a comment, please? This has already been taken care of. It's already done through Dick Wiseman and it approved through the meeting in June. Okay. And he's already got the contract, signed it, and returned it. Then the uh, last motion that came out of the committee was to recommend the city council to forward the suggested application for the construction of any boat dock, boat house, ski lift, or uh, any other improvements or alterations to the city attorney and the city council for the recommendation. I'd like to make that in the form of motion. Motion by Alderman Dorchinez. Second. Second by Alderman Virgil. Comment on the <clears throat> one of the One of the things that, was, uh, that I had put on that application was a suggestion to have the uh, Social Security number put on there. Um, Mr. Virgil and probably others didn't um, think that that was appropriate, but I wanted to pass it on to the city attorney to make sure that, uh, that uh, what, get his input and whether it's needed or not. And so uh, it, it stayed on there. <clears throat> So it won't necessarily end up to be there. <clears throat> what we found out is that um, we've never had anybody fill out an application, although it's in the ordinance. So that's why we got a new application. It's not to replace one that's there. It's to replace one that was never there. Does that make sense? Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Water and environmental, all the brutal. Mr. first motion was to authorize and direct the mayor to sign pay request number 24 from Plocker Construction in amount of $193,912.50 for work on the new water treatment plant and forward the request to the IEPA Low Interest Loan Program for disbursement and approved payment of same pending receipt of disbursement from the IEPA. This condition upon the receipt of a signed mechanic lien waiver in this amount and recommendation from the project engineer that the work Satisfactory for the form. Make that motion. Motion of Alderman Virgil. Second of Alderman Bud. Roll call. Kathy Driscoll. Yes. Elaine Zoddy. Yes. Driscoll Teddy. Yes. Mary Bud. Yes. Sean Virgil. Yes. Ronnie Dorshin. Yes. Motion carried 6 to 0. The next motion was to recommend to the City Council to pay Benton Associates 
$33,957.50 for work performed related to the construction of the new water treatment plant from May 26, 2019 to June 22, 2019. Make that motion. Motion by Alderman Mergel. Second. Second by Alderman Driscoll. Roll call. Leland Buddy? Yes. Driscoll Teddy? Yes. Larry Budd? Yes. John Burrell? Yes. Randy Driscoll? Yes. Motion carries 6-0. to zero. Next motion is a recommended to City Council to pay Dickinson and Hussman in the amount of $1,011.36 for the work performed related to the construction of the new water treatment plant from April 1st, 2019 through June 30th of 2019. I'll make that for the motion. Motion by Alderman Burrell. Second. Alderman Budd. Roll call. Driscoll Teddy? Yes. Larry Budd? Yes. Tom Riddle? Yes. 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 Motion carries 6 to 0. Next motion is recommended to the City Council to direct Mayor Barry to sign the Walker change order number 3 in the amount of $119,993.78. I'll make that full motion. Mr. Alderman Burrell, may I suggest that the motion be extended to conform with the minutes? In other words, that change order number three is also for a 45-day extension. Okay. And that is to be granted, provided, uh, Botcher pays for all increased entering costs to the city during the extension, as stated in the minutes and as verified by uh, your superintendent. Follow that, my motion. Thank you. Motion by Alderman Durgle. Second. Second. By Alderman Skull Roll call. Larry Budd? Yes. Tom Durgle? Yes. Andy Dorchinez? Yes. Kathy Driscoll? Yes. 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 Just for the record, that point, according to the minutes, the uh, substantial completion date will now be August 4th. Yes. Motion carries 6 to 0. Um, motion by the motion was to recommend to the recommend that the City Council to approve logged in tree service to remove four trees at the new water treatment plant and one tree at the current water treatment plant in an amount of $5,350 pending receipt of the city's form contract and certificate of insurance. And certificate of insurance. Motion. And I'll make that form. Motion. Motion by Alderman Burrell. Second by Second. Alderman Driscoll. Roll call. Sean Burrell. Yes. Ernie Dorchinez. Yes. Kathy Driscoll. Yes. Leigh Dottie. Yes. Driscoll Teddy. Yes. Larry Buzz. Yes. Motion carries six to zero. Alderman Budd. Motion to approve a ratified payment of bills of $256,661.5 and make that form. Sorry. Motion to comment. Motion by Alderman Budd. Second by Alderman Burrell with comment. Alderman Budd. Electric, 9,520,167. Fuel, 16,476.11. Garbage, 3,064.67. Office supplies, 2,104.11. Bronze, A's, BR, Kroger, and Taylor Mill Feet. 3,380.15, Computer Tech, 4,978.15, Napa and O'Reilly's, 1,422.26, Larry Service Center, 2,988.43, Sterling Qualifiers, 1,103, Meyer Austin Romano, 7,243.50, United Capital Funding for Temporary Help, 3,331.02, Taylor Public Library for the t- tornado damage, 1,250. Illinois Public Risk for uh, August, 24,237. IEPA uh, subscription, 1,000. Illinois Department of Revenue sales tax on the fuel, 1,281. Police Department, mid, first mid bank, two loan payments, one for 20,956.29, and the other one's for 8,000. 545.71 for a total of 29,502. But earlier we approved the uh, making the payment of the settlement for the two cars, so they will be used to pay off one of these loans and apply to the other one. Uh, Lexi Pool for the annual program 5,697 and uniforms 1,145.64. Fire Department, Christian County Supervisor, annual access fees, 1,000. Horton Plumbing, 1,494. Street Department, Green and Bradford, 15,821. Malview Excavating, 6,075. Phil Tullis, 8,820. Springfield Plastics, 4,390.05. Water Department, Benton Associates, 
23,957.50. Midwest meters, 23,680.24. Chemicals, 16,686.11. Dickinson Hessman, 1,011.36. Uh, Illinois Mo products, 6,174. And these total to 238,329.11. Roll call. Mary Dorchinette? Yes. 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 Crystal Fenn? Yes. 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 Motion carries 6 to 0. First subparagraph G, 5 ILCS 120 slash 2.06. This portion of the City Council meeting is reserved for any person who wishes to address the Council on any relevant subject matters concerning the City. The Illinois Open Meeting Act, 5 ILCS 120 slash 1 Mandates no action shall be taken on subject matters not listed on the agenda, but the council may direct staff to address the topic or refer the subject matter to a future council and or committee meeting. If anyone wishes to address the council, please provide your name and address, limit your comments or presentation to three minutes, and avoid repetitious comments. Anyone out in the audience like to speak? Any alderman would like to comment? On Thursday night, we'll be dis discussing motor fuel tax and letting you know where we're at with the motor fuel tax. So if you're interested in knowing the update on motor fuel tax, you need to be here Thursday night. We'll give you an updated report where we are. Any other comments or questions? Motion for agenda. Motion by Alderman Gurgle, second by Alderman Scott All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Council is now adjourned at 7.32.